Hello everyone in this uh, new video we're going to talk today about sub business information warehouse which is the solution of business intelligence analysis and reporting of sub it's now called sub Network bi so I'm Batla Basalahtin IT consultant I act in the area of business intelligence as well as Microsoft technologies especially Bistalk server and SQL server Sub Business Warehouse, the Sub BI solution, which is the data warehouse that allows the users to, to quickly access the data stored in Sub Solutions. BW is an all-in-one tool that integrates a data extractor, an environment of processing, storage, and consolidation, and a formation institutional environment. So let's see the futures of each part of the system apart. First of all, the administrator workbench for Sub BW. Abbreviated as AWB is the main tool for tasks in the data warehousing process. It provides data modeling functions as well as functions for control, monitoring and maintenance of all processes in sub BW, having to do with data procurement, data retention and data processing. The Business Explorer suit, abbreviated as BIC suit, in the sub business information warehouse BIX is the reporting tool used to work with data in the BW database. BIX has a web-based user interface and is made up of two components, the BIX browser and the BIX analyzer. The BIX browser provides an organized interface where a user can access and work with any type of documents assigned to them in the business information warehouse, such as workbooks, links, and BW web reports. The BW database itself is segmented into discrete data areas called InfoCubes that are made up of data and associated metadata. The BIX Analyzer allows the user to examine segmented data in a variety of useful combinations, for example when comparing financial data for different fiscal years. There is also some very, very useful tools like BIX Information Broadcasting, used to distribute BI content of SAP by email. You can also publish it on the corporate portal. The BIX Web Apps, these are web applications from the BIX designed to analyze data, application, reporting, and analysis on the web. If you want to know more about the Business Explorer tools, so you need to read also about Query Designer, Web Application Designer, the Web Analyzer, and the Report Designer. The Open Hub Service. It enables you to distribute data from a sub BW system into external data marts, analytical applications, and new other applications. With this, you can ensure controlled distribution using several systems. The central object for the export of data is the InfoSpoke. Using this, you can define the objects from which the data comes and into which targets it's transferred. Through the Open Hub service, SAP PW becomes a hub of an enterprise data warehouse. The distribution of data becomes clear through central monitoring from the distribution statutes in the BW system. The BI platform. This business and intelligence platform offers a te technological infrastructure along with various analytical technologies and functions. The OLAP, Online Analytical Processing, it's used for information preparation of large amounts of operative and historical data. The OLAP processor enables multidimensional analysis according to various business perspectives. The metadata repository enables information on metadata objects for the BW system to be displayed in a running system or to use them independently of BW system operation. With business planning and simulation, the BW BPS, you create planning applications. The areas of application range for simple, from simple manual data entry to complex planning scenarios. Special analysis processes such as data mining can be realized with the analysis process designer, the APD. Using an analysis process, Information can be combined in the BW system to generate new information. This new information can be attained using analytical processes such as data mining methods or sampler customer specific calculations and transformations. The reporting agent is a tool used to shadow reporting functions in the background. <coughs> so uh, what about the ETL process? Subnet Weaver BW offers flexible ways of integrating data from various sources. Depending on the data warehousing strategy for your application scenario, you can extract the data from the source and load it into the Subnet Weaver BW system, 
or directly access the data in the source without storing it physically in the enterprise data warehouse. In this case, the data is integrated virtually into the enterprise data warehouse. Sources for the enterprise data warehouse can be operational, relational data sets, for example in subsystems, files or order systems. Transformations allow you to run a technical cleanup and to consolidate the data. Extraction and transfer processes to the initial layer in subnetwork BW as well as direct access to data are possible using various interfaces, depending on the origin and format of the data. Subnetwork BW does allows integration of subdata and non subdata. We have the file interface that permits the extraction from and direct access to files such as CSV files. The data request is controlled from the Subnetwork VW system. We have the web services that permit you to send data to the Subnetwork VW system under external control. The Universal Data Connect, abbreviated as UD Connect, that permits the extraction from and direct access to rational data. The data request is controlled from the Subnetwork VW system here. The Database Connect, abbreviated as DB Connect, that permits the extraction from and direct access to data located in tables or views of a database management system. The data request is controlled from the Subnetwork BW system. And we have the Station Business Application Programming Interfaces, abbreviated as Station BAPIs. These are open interfaces which Subnetwork business objects, data services, and certified third party tools can use to extract data from other systems. The data transfer can be triggered by a request from the Subnetwork BW system or by sub-business objects, data services, or a third-party tool. So the last part and the important one is the data warehousing, which Sub-BW forms the basis of an extensive business intelligence solution to convert data into valuable information. Integrated and co company-specific data warehousing provides decision makers in your company information and knowledge for goal-oriented measures that will lead to the success of the company. For data from any source, sub or non-sub sources, and of any age, historic or current, data warehousing with sub B W allows integration, the data retrieval from source systems, transformation, consolidation, cleanup, storage, Retrieval from analysis and interpretation. And for your information, the central tool for data warehousing task in sub BW is the administrator workbench. So uh, this is it. Hope it was clear and helpful as an introduction for a beginning with the sub BW. Thanks to all. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions or suggestions. See you in the next video.